to enhance the thyroid function, okay? And you wanna enhance thyroid function because you wanna create more of those um, hormones to balance them out. Hey baddies, so it's your girl Bevy with Hair Scripts and today we're gonna talk about thyroids, all about your thyroid, your thyroid problems and how to effectively regrow your hair in the midst of it all, Yolanda Adams. It's Friday night and I have to unwind a bit and have me a little bit of Genese. Anyway, so, um, here at Hair Scripts, I talk about the science of hair growth and hair loss. They're not synonymous. I'm not going into all of that. I'm trying to cut these down so I can get be succinct and just get to the point, okay? Anyway, so I've had a few of you go in my comments and talk to me about thyroids. And, you know, I have a video on the best, like the best supplements that every girl should have. It's my biggest video to this day. Thank you guys for all the support. And long story short, I had a lot of my thyroid girls, my thyroid baddies say to me like, well, this is great and all, you know, clap, clap, clap. But uh, we can't do nothing with this because we got thyroid problems. And so we need you to create something that is specific to us. So that's what I'm here doing, okay? So this is for my thyroid girls, you know, call your wife, call your sis, call everybody, call your friends. If they got thyroids, Let's forward this video to them so we can help them, okay? Not that nobody else is out here doing it, but are they doing it like me? I like to talk about the science, okay? I like to talk about the science, okay? Anyway, so um, I'm a little tipsy. So I don't know what kind of bevy you're gonna get today, but um, she's still gonna be on point, okay? Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy with Hair Scripts and I have some great news. If you are experiencing hair loss, meaning it's shedding, it's thinning, you have bald spots, it's breaking, you don't know what the problem is and you don't know how to treat it and how to fix it, do me a favor and go to thehairscripts.com, go to our website, the link is down below, and use our scalp evaluation tool where you can upload up to six photos of your scalp and your problem area. And one of our Hair Scripts hair loss experts will get back to you, not only with a full evaluation, but a treatment plan on how you can personally regrow your hair back based on your hair growth concerns. But that's not all. You'll also get product recommendations that are going to be better for you and not for your neighbor. Okay, so personalized hair care, girl, that's where it's at. And if that's not good and that's not reason enough for you to go, it's free, okay? Don't say and tell you. Bye. All right, so let's talk about the thyroid, okay? So there's different types of thyroid dysfunction, okay? Thyroid dysfunction, AKA thyroid problems, that's how we call it. Now we're talking the difference between hypothyroid and hyperthyroid, okay? Now hypo is when your thyroid is functioning below the standard. And when it functions below the standard, what it's doing is rewind it. Okay, so your thyroid is important because what it does is it balances your sexual hormones, okay? So I have a whole bunch of crap on this channel about hormones, okay? And when I talk about hormones, let's be specific, I talk about those sexual hormones like progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone, which we all have, yes, as women, we also do have testosterone. So we need to keep these sexual hormones for the most part, okay? in complete homeostasis, AKA balance and happy. We all know when something ain't balanced, sis, okay? It ain't right, okay? It ain't smelling right, it ain't feeling right, okay? So you want your pH to be balanced, right? So we're not talking about your pH, but that's how important balance is. Balance is good, a balanced meal is good, a balanced relationship is good. Everything you need balance in your whole life. So that includes your thyroid gland, okay? Which is a butterfly shaped organ in the neck area above the collarbone. And that obviously regulates those hormones that should be in balance as well. So if you're dealing with hyperthyroidism or in some cases to the extreme Graves disease or hypothyroidism in the extreme 
um, Hashimoto's, then it's really hard for you in a lot of instances to take some of the supplements and everything that I discuss on this channel. Um, because a lot of those things not only interact with the thyroid problem, but they interact with any thyroid medications that you may be on. By interact, I mean they don't, they're, you're not supposed to mix them. They're like oil and water and woe be unto you if you mix the two. And if you do and you figured out why you should have not, please comment down below and tell me what you did and what happened following the lipstick. It's Friday night, y'all, and I'm single, so I decided to spend my time with y'all. Anyway, okay, we're going to be single and great, okay? We're going to be single and amazing, and we're not going to accept any breadcrumbs from anybody, okay? We're going to know our worth. We're baddies over here on this channel, okay? We work on our health from the inside out, our hair loss okay our hair growth journey and we are working on our health and wellness overall we getting that wop right okay that waist tight and we not over here accepting no bull crap from anybody because you're a baddie excuse me i have a little bit of a of a, a hive here it's uh what's that thing they call uh what is it what what they call it yeah, what is, what is that season? Allergy season. Okay, so I get hives. Okay, so just let me just address that. All right, so what's gonna happen? So how, what do I recommend for my girls who have thyroid dysfunction or AKA thyroid problems as we like to call it? There's a couple of different things. Number one, I'm gonna give you cocktails that work for you because I don't recommend a one size fit all, you know, multivitamin or even prenatal pill because it can have certain things like calcium, magnesium and iron that can interact with any thyroid medications that you're currently on. And yes, you can wait several hours, meaning you can take the thyroid medication and then take the multivitamin and the prenatal vitamin hours later so it doesn't interact. You can do that or you can create a cocktail more specific and more targeted to your problem that is backed by science and that's what I'm gonna give you today, okay? So um, let's go into some of the ways that I recommend that you take care of your hypothyroidism or your hyperthyroidism, okay? Keep in mind that this is supposed to be something that happens when you're middle aged like me, um, or, you know, starting to get a little more seasoned and fine wine of a baddie. But these things can appear so young and you don't even know that it's happening until, you know, it starts to do things like cause all your hair to fall out. And for the record, the reason why it causes your hair to fall out is because you either have such a deficiency in nutrients or you have so much hormones that you're not supposed to have, like testosterone hormones that release other hormones that just causes follicle death that that's why you're having hair loss uh, more than likely if you're dealing with thyroid problems you're dealing with thinning and that is obviously the reason why okay so thyroid problems for the most part whether it's hypo or hyperthyroidism is always going to lend itself to hair loss okay especially hair thinning okay like i said the good news is there's medicine out there this is a problem that has been treated it's a tale as old as time and so my first recommendation for everyone, as always, before you guys come for me, cause y'all like, oh, you just, you just be throwing a hodgepodge of ideas and stuff out there and people should be going to see a doctor. Uh, yes, okay, for the, for the record, for those of you who don't know, Harris Scripps has medical practitioners that is on the team and any tea that I spill, okay, that tea is first verified and confirmed by a medical practitioner. I too have also been in the healthcare pharmaceutical industry, okay, for over a decade. And so this is what I do, this is what I does. My job is to read clinical studies and to understand all the ingredients in a product, both active and inactives, and be able to speak to the clinical benefits of those products. Yes, she can code switch. But that's not what I want to do over here, okay? This is this is my platform, and I want to do what I do, and I want to be me, okay? So I just have to throw that out there because those of y'all who say I like to just throw a whole bunch of stuff on it, just throw pots at the at the wall, hold one stick. That's not the case here. 
Where else are you gonna go on these YouTube screens where they're gonna give you the science behind growing your hair? So I had one girl give me some great kudos. I love you. I don't remember your name off the top of my head, but she was like, you need to take notes. So pull out your notepads, my thyroid girls, my thyroid baddies, I got you, okay? So of course you're gonna see a dermatologist so that they can test you, run blood work, and figure out whether or not you have a thyroid problem. So let me insert this, okay? Please go watch that video on why I do not F with biotin because biotin gives you false negatives, okay? Or in some cases, false positives. And it gives you a reading that you may or may not have a thyroid problem and you really don't. So stop ODing on biotin, sis. You can get biotin from protein, okay? Protein is the biotin of choice. So by all means, go watch my protein video and go watch my biotin video. That's all you need. Do not take more biotin than necessary because it will give you false blood work, false tests. One of those being that it's gonna tell you you have a thyroid um, dysfunction and then you're gonna be treated for a thyroid dysfunction. And why that's the problem? Because then, because you have a thyroid dysfunction, you're limited on, on the type of supplements that you can and cannot take. And then you're gonna start to experience deficiencies and lose even more hair. So please, by all means, you don't need the biotin. Just get the biotin from natural resources and sources. Go check out that video, okay? So I just had to throw in that little plug, okay? So first step, like I said, is um, you're gonna go see a practitioner. Let me just let me just rewind back. I just want to talk about some of the type of hair losses that you're gonna experience with thyroid problems. You're gonna have something called diffuse alopecia, and that's basically a decrease of hair all over the entire scalp, which I mentioned is a lot of thinning. You're gonna have alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is very common. You'll see that a lot in people that have intense stress, and those are bald patches that just pop up out of nowhere, right? But it just pops up out of nowhere. Those are bald patches. Usually you'll see them with a high stress response or high cortisol. Um, so alopecia areata, the bald spots, there's other things that you're gonna experience like androgenetic alopecia. Androgenetic alopecia is female or male pattern baldness, which is 100% hormone related, right? So because thyroids regulate your hormones um, and your hormones regulate everything else, you know, androgenetic alopecia is a full hormone, a hormone, it's just hormone disbalance and, and chaos, right? And that's why you have androgenetic alopecia. Um, and then other scalp conditions associated with thyroidism is seborrheic dermatitis, AKA yeast infection on your scalp that causes patches and scaliness and craziness. It's what you consider dandruff to the umpteenth power, okay? It's beyond dandruff, honey, okay? It's the dandruff that you, it's cake on your scalp. And I have a video on that. Inflammation of the scalp. And then of course, psoriasis or psoriatic scalp, which is scaly patches, very thick scaly patches on the scalp. And this is all because of dysregulation of your hormones. Okay, those hormones, man, they do a lot. I gotta keep it a buck with you. The hormones do a lot, okay? So first and foremost, you're gonna see a doctor. A doctor is gonna be able to actually, you know, do the testing, diagnose the thyroid problem, whether it's hypo or hyper. You wanna make sure you're not so far, you know, off the scale, meaning if you have really bad hypothyroidism, you have something called, for hypothyroidism, you have something called Hashimoto's where your own antibodies attacked you know, let me just make sure I'm saying it correctly because you know. Yeah, so it's an autoimmune disease which the immune system produces antibodies that attack the thyroid causing fibrosis. And fibrosis is scarring of the thyroid tissue, which anytime there's scarring of anything, that means that there's no turning back. It's effed up forever, okay? It's like when a good girl go, goes bad, she's gone, she's bad forever, you know what I mean? Coming back, coming back. So if you're dealing with, um, so let's talk about Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism, okay? So now you're gonna see a doctor. You're gonna make sure that you're eating a balanced diet. That's different for everybody else. I'm not a nutritionist. I try to give you guys ideas. You know, some people wanna go keto, some people wanna go paleo. Some people just wanna go low carb. Some people wanna go high fat. You know, I can't speak for what is best for your body. What I can say is we know what healthy is in general. There's a language for that. That's whole foods. We're gonna go with, you know, less um, starchy foods, refined sugars, you know, fast foods, 
Um, I'm trying to think of the word, but the Genesee just won't let me. All right. So I'm going to give you guys, stay tuned to the end, because I'm going to give you a DIY tea for my thyroid girls. Herbal tea that you're going to drink every single day that's going to really increase everything that you need in your body to really start rebuilding that thyroid, hopefully push you out of dysregulation, take you off of medication, and help you to just finally rebuild the hair that you can, but we gotta start, it's a layer thing, right? So you can't even go straight to hair growth until you really address the thyroid problem. So we're gonna talk about that tea at the end, okay? But first I wanna talk about the supplements that's best for you if you're dealing with hypothyroidism. So Bevy, how do I know that I have hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's? Cause you're gonna go to a dermatologist or a doctor, duh, they're gonna be the ones to tell you. So um, all of these supplements that I'm gonna name, studies have backed these supplements, okay? So we're gonna start with selenium, Study shown that 200 micrograms of selenium per day can decrease thyroid antibodies and improve mood in people with Hashimoto's, okay? So if you watch all my other videos, your hormones are directly responsible for your mood, okay? So for those of you girls who PMS, okay, or turn into a werewolf, werewolf once a month, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Because you're that person that you literally can go from zero to 100 and you're literally like a gremlin. You know what I'm saying? You're a whole gremlin. Don't ask me how I know that time of the month. That's how crazy hormones work because the hormones can completely dishevel you. And imagine somebody who's dealing with thyroidism, right? Hypo or hyper. In this case, we're talking about Hashimoto's or hypo thyroidism, which is you're, create, you're not creating enough hormones of the right hormones that you need, okay? So selenium, at least 200 micrograms of selenium is what you need. By the way, I'm recommending that you guys get these things individually. And if you're gonna find a product that has all of them in them, great. But if you have thyroid problems, I recommend that you create your own cocktail because you have thyroid issues. And you can get a lot of products out here like multivitamins and even prenatals that have a ton of stuff that is good for you, but not necessarily good for you because of your thyroid issue. And not only because you have thyroids, but if you're trying to take care of the thyroid, more than likely you're on medication to regulate your thyroids. And so these things like multivitamins and prenatals, because they have a ton of calcium, iron, um, magnesium, a whole bunch of stuff that interacts with those medications. So like I said, you have A, the option of waiting it out hours and then you take those things or you can just build your own cocktail, which I recommend to build your own cocktail based on what studies suggest. The other thing is called myo inositol. Um, it's a type of sugar that plays an important role in thyroid function. You need at least 600 micrograms of this. This plus selenium combined will help to improve thyroid function in people with, with Hashimoto's, okay, or hypothyroid. Also, you're gonna need zinc. Um, zinc is really good, especially when combined with selenium to enhance the thyroid function, okay? And you wanna enhance thyroid function because you wanna create more of those um, hormones to balance them out. You also need vitamin B12, okay? You know, taking B12 or a B complex supplement can help prevent and treat the deficiency, okay? Magnesium um, deficiency may increase your risk of developing Hashimoto's. So correcting magnesium deficiency may improve your symptoms, but keep in mind that magnesium does interact with those medications. So you may want to go ahead and make sure that if you're, anything that you're taking, make sure you check with a doctor. But if you're taking magnesium, you cannot take it close to the medication you have to wait. Um, same thing with iron, um, same thing with zinc. Um, so you wanna do iron supplements to restore optimal levels. You wanna do curcumin, curcumin supplements because they protect against the oxidative damage. You need oxygenation across the board because that's gonna help to deliver the nutrients to wherever you need it to go, okay? So you wanna do that. And curcumin is an anti-inflammatory compound that helps to reduce the size of the thyroid nodules, um, which are common in Hashimoto's. And then of course you wanna look at vitamin C, okay? I mean, who's gonna go wrong with, at the end of the day, vitamin C, AKA an antioxidant, that's really good. Um, for fighting free radicals, which I said before, free radicals are haters. You know, they're just haters. They don't like you. 
Free radicals are ugly. They mad because they ugly. And they want you to be ugly too. So they're going to do everything. Like try to damage everything good about you. Make you look old. Give you wrinkles. I mean just make you go make you go gray sometimes make you go bald free radicals is the complete enemy and antioxidants are going to go in there and slap the crap okay the absolute crap out of the out of the free radicals okay i hope i'm making sense y'all y'all tell me if i'm not so free radicals aren't good antioxidants beat the living crap out of anti oh you real oh so you what so you think you're gonna make me old? You think you're gonna make me ugly? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So Graves' disease is the opposite. Graves' disease is um, another autoimmune disease where your antibodies attack your thyroid um, and it basically increases the amount of hormones and it gives you an enlarged thyroid. So, you know, I think we heard people like Wendy Williams um, suffers from Graves' disease. It's no joke. I mean, these things may seem light, but imbalanced hormones, yo, is a whole biatch, okay? It's a whole biatch. It's a biatch, y'all. It's no joke. And I know my thyroid baddies, y'all know how serious this is. It's no joke. It's no joke. You know, as women, our hormones have to be balanced and maintain complete zen and homeostasis. Otherwise... She's gonna go around be just, 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 just. I don't wanna keep saying slapping folks because y'all know what just happened. I'm not even about to talk about that, okay? I'm not, because I'm not about to give y'all my opinion on that. I'm just not, okay? So again, with Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism, where your thyroid is creating way too many hormones, okay? And you're just, there's an over excess of hormones. And you may think that's great, but it's not. You can't have too much or too little hormones. You have to be just right. Too much of something, especially if you have too much testosterone in your system, can definitely cause balding, especially androgenetic alopecia, which is balding um, around the front or even the crown of your head in a certain pattern. So you're out here looking like little Caesars, um, if that's even a person. So you wanna take selenium. You know, studies show that taking at least one to 300 micrograms of selenium improved thyroid function at six months in people with Graves' disease, okay? Um, now, you wanna take selenium, you wanna take vitamin D. I have a whole video that talks about vitamin D and how vitamin D is the GOAT, especially for creating more hair follicles because hair follicles are cells and cells duplicate, they replicate. So if you wanna replicate them at like, at like at a crazy rate, you want to take vitamin D, vitamin D3. l cartonine research found that hyperthyroidism depletes your body's stores of cartonine, which plays a critical role in energy production. So you need l cartonine for energy, basically, okay? Um, it'll help to reduce the symptoms um, and improve quality of life in people with hyperthyroidism. And then there's vitamin B12, okay? Um, and then usually people with Graves' disease, they usually have a greater risk of developing vitamin B12 deficiency. So you want to take um, B12 or B-complex supplement that can help maintain those B12 or B levels, okay? So listen, I mean, for the most part, these are the ones that you want to look into. If you're honestly, I would recommend creating a cocktail. And this is the cocktail that you want to focus on. But of course... Like with anything, like I said, some of these um, supplements do interact with the medications. So you want to speak to your provider or you want to speak to your dermatologist. I recommend a dermatologist because they're going to get you all the way together. They're going to talk about your thyroid and how to make sure that your thyroid don't jack up your skin and don't jack up your hair. Okay. Which I know we all care about. Primary care doctors be on some... Who cares about your hair and your skin as long as you alive? All right, so let's go to the tea. I said I was gonna give y'all some tea, literal tea, okay, that y'all can make. Um, let me look at my nose. Let me go ahead and find the tea. Okay, y'all ready? Grab your pens. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna boil these herbs together, whether you find them in herb form or drop form, whether you find them on Amazon or whatever, or you go to the health food store, usually, you know, if you find a good Caribbean health food store, you're gonna find everything that I'm talking about, okay? 
So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna create this tea and you're gonna drink this every night and you're gonna watch your symptoms improve significantly, okay? Do not go to a Western doctor and expect them to give you this tea. Pun intended, okay? The tea and the tea. They're not gonna give it to you, okay? They're just gonna throw, write the prescription and just get you going on your merry life and don't care if your hair falling out, if you're bald, if you're ugly, as long as you're alive. But I'm telling you right now, go to a dermatologist. They're gonna make sure that they get you together, but also subscribe to Hair Scripts, plug, and we're gonna give you the tea on how to do things. You know what I'm saying? That is backed by science. So don't be like, oh, she ain't all natural. She always talking about chemicals. No, I talk about roots and herbs too. I'm Caribbean and Hispanic too. I talk about those things if it's backed by science. So here we go, okay, ready? Y'all gonna take the notes and I'm looking at my notes, okay? So please, you're going to go ahead and put all these anti-inflammatory herbs inside of a pot. You're gonna do ginger, turmeric. You could do turmeric root or turmeric powder. I don't, whatever you have. Onions, I recommend real onions. Don't use onion powder. Onions, okay, shallots and garlic, okay? And then you're gonna put these herbs, you're gonna put palmetto, salt palmetto, black cohosh, donkey, okay? False unicorn, chase berry, and red clover. It's going to taste like basura. It's gonna taste like trash, it's gonna taste like poop. And your breath may stink, but you're not doing this in the daytime before you go see your man, okay? You're gonna do this at night. You're gonna drink this tea at night. It's gonna be bitter, throw honey if you need to, or do whatever. Or if you a bad itch like me, you're gonna drink, you're gonna take that to the head. Nasty. Some of y'all have swallowed worse, okay? Anyway, um, so drink this every night. And you're going to start to see some results within six months of taking it. I know six months seems like a long time, but this is a healthy tea that just have a concoction of benefits. But the number one benefits of this is that it's an anti-inflammatory. You need to reduce that inflammation that is being caused, that, that hyper-inflammation that's being caused by the thyroidism um, and schisms in your body, okay? Whether it's hypo or hyperthyroidism, whether it's Graves or Hashimoto's, you're gonna drink this tea and you're gonna see results before six months. But I'm telling you right now, give it time, but have faith and just drink it, you know? And make it, make it work for you. If you gotta ice it up, ice it up. If you gotta throw some lemons, I wouldn't do sugar, but if you wanna throw some honey, do something, make it work. And I'm telling you, you're gonna see the benefits. Now, I told y'all to stick to the end. I'm sorry I'm talking too long. I did not want this to go for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna stop right here. But this video was for my girls with thyroid disorders, thyroid dysfunctions, or thyroid problems, um, who was like, yo, I need you to give me some tea on what I could do to regrow my hair. Now, this specifically is not really a hair growth regimen. This is more so to balance your thyroid because nine times out of 10 with thyroid problems, your hair loss is caused by the thyroid problem itself. So once that is regulated, once that's balanced, and once your thyroid is together, you're going to start to naturally see the hair growth, AKA fullness, thickness, density. All that stuff is gonna return once you take care of the thyroid problem. So it's not like I'm let, literally giving you a, a hair growth regimen. Like I said, hair loss and hair growth is not synonymous. We wanna plug up the holes, right? In the foundation first so that everything you do after that is going to be retained and sustained, okay? So that's it, I'm done talking and not done drinking, but y'all have yourself a great whatever. I'm trying to find a new ending. Help me out, help me out. But um, yeah, baddies, love you. And please watch the next video that pops up. Subscribe to the channel. Binge watch if you ain't got nothing to do, but it's getting hot outside, so I, I don't expect much from y'all right now. But you know, if y'all really want to get that hair together, okay, underneath all them protective styles that y'all got going for this summer, go ahead, go ahead and do that, okay? Go ahead and do that, all right? Love you, baddies. Bye.